So Paduk is not going to work. It's not quite dense enough to be able to hold the threads. Mahogany didn't even have a chance. But Chechen is showing some promise here. I'm pretty sure this is Chechen. It's a super dense hardwood, so it's holding the threads. It's just a matter of turning one without blowing the head off. But I think I got one this time. Nice. <laughs> so I made a giant utility knife. 
It's about time this channel had a practical project on it. I saw my buddy Jimmy D'Aresta making the uh, giant utility knife blade. Oh, sorry, I just, uh, I just dropped a name down there. But as soon as I saw that post, I knew that as soon as I could get my hand on one of these blades, uh, this was gonna happen. Now this is an exact scale replica of the original Stanley utility knife, except this one is made entirely out of wood, including the sliding mechanism and even the screw. But I really need to thank ArborTech for supporting this build. In total, I used four of their tools. I'll link them all down below so you can check them out for yourself. The turbo plane was used to create the curved shape of the knife. The mini grinder actually cut the slots in the head of the screw. The turbo shaft hollowed out the blade holder or utility knife holder on the inside of the knife. And then the contour sander did all of the finish sanding on the outside. Now ArborTech is a huge supporter of everything that I do here, so go show them some love so that I can keep throwing chips and making uh, stuff like this. And now something I think I can finally share with you guys. I'm going to be at Maker Faire in New York City in September. So my buddies over at ArborTech and Carolina Shoe are teaming up on a booth and I'm going to be at that booth the entire weekend power carving something. Now I'm not 100% set on a project yet. All I know is it's going to be Carolina related and probably uh, Jackman sized. That being said, if you have any ideas for any cool, crazy power carving project you'd like to see me make, let me know down below in the comments. And if I'm going to be lucky enough to meet you there, drop a comment down below and let me know. But I think that's all I got for you for now. Check those links down below. Till next time.